Hey guys, welcome back to another Drew's Long Care video. Today's gonna be a bit of a shorter one, so I'm gonna be talking about how I got that behind me. Um, so basically, what I've been doing, I know I haven't been doing many videos recently, is what I've done since, what, August? I've been doing quite a few things with the lawn. One of those things is insect control. In the last week, I applied my first ever liquid application with the simple lawn solutions liquid iron i applied that um it really did make a nice dark green i applied that on what i think thursday thursday or friday can't remember exactly and here is my new shelf i've got going here's the simple lawn solutions and i got my hdx pump sprayer well now i've been spraying a bunch of weeds in the garden beds because um with it not raining since may and then it pouring down for about seven maybe even nine days out of august and we've had probably three rain days of september and today is september the 5th so it's just been raining quite a bit recently even though that it hasn't rained almost all summer Actually, the last time it rained before then was was August. I mean, not May. Here's the side yard. So you can see it's starting to come back in. But one annoying thing was this was all beautiful St. Augustine. But one annoying thing is we got a bunch of invading Bermuda. So that's kind of my fault, though because I let those sprinkler heads stay broken for way too long. But now I've got them fixed and they are, that's good. So I haven't applied anything there yet. Um, I was gonna apply stress blend, but I just don't feel like spending that extra money on that. I don't think it's, I can just wait or something. Um, I'm probably gonna get more liquid products. I want to try the liquid um what is it the sea kelp because it's got high I believe i think it's zero zero twenty five so that helped the lawn being stressed and yes i do still have this gag it's just under the top because we've had a bunch of recent storms so i don't want it to get all messed up so um i put in the i put in a bunch of those lane boat 1800s for the side yard with the spray nozzles, I think it was, I think it was 11 I put in, so that, that was a lot of work. So, now, let's get on to the main stage, and what I plan on doing to keep this beautiful, nice color I'm seeing. So, one thing that I'm going to be applying um, next Saturday is I'm going to be applying the last little bit of my flagship. Um, I'm probably also going to apply some of the side yard. I haven't applied any, um, nitrogen since, what, I think July the 15th was the last time I applied nitrogen. So it's been a while. It's definitely hungry for some good nitrogen. So I'm excited to see how that goes down. So let's go ahead and check out the main yard. Okay, so here it is. It is looking pretty nice, if I say so myself. So if you come down here, super nice and thick and green. So let me show you one of my favorite parts. It kind of did scalp on this cut that I just did, which was sad, but who cares? Look at how thick that is. It is super nice, thick and green. Beautiful St. Augustine. Oh, funny story. So. We've lived in this house for probably like 10 years or so. Never replaced the lights. We get a power outage maybe three times maximum a year. So, you see, we put, the, we put on these new lights yesterday all day. We were putting them on. And of course, you see that, that power line over there? You see all those down trees? I made a short about it, but maybe not all of y'all saw it. All those tree branches fell down onto the power lines. The power line exploded and caught on fire, which was not good. Um, luckily, the fire department put out the fire, 
we just got all power back probably five hours ago. But what I was doing in between was I was um, shopping at Yard Mastery. So I love Yard Mastery products. It's probably my favorite company. Um, I'm starting to get into a little bit of Simple On. Simple On Solutions and Yard Mastery. I think those are two good mix. I think Simple On Solutions has great liquid products. Yard Mastery does too with their next products. But I also kind of like both of them. I think I'm going to use a good mix of both. Um, for all my granules, of course, I'm sticking with Yard Mastery because they have the best. I like the flagship. I want to try out the, um, what is it, Freedom, Freedom Mix. I want to try that out. I'm going to probably try that out on Memorial Day. And, yeah. So, I'm super happy with this. It's beautiful. Love the color. And also, if you guys notice that the quality is a bit better in this video, is I'm using a different phone. This is an iPhone 13 Pro Max. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to look better on the quality. Beautiful stripes. I'm going to get you out some more review videos. I filmed a... Um, one of, I can't remember what the product name was. But it was an insect killer and like like fleas, ticks, what else, mosquitoes, um, gloves, side web worms. I filmed a video on that and I'm gonna be publishing a review pretty soon. I just needed a video to get out just to keep you guys updated. And for this tree right there, I do, um, I'm pretty sure it will come back. If you guys know anything about that or have I any past experience please let me know so yeah here's just some two new lights something cool about these lights we got them from costco thirty dollars each they were on sale and they're actually good build um they come with nice leds so they come with the screws they come with everything they're pretty easy to install and they have on top they got those photo light sensors which is nice Alright you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.